You've clicked on this video because you want to get kits into Football Manager. Well, you are in luck. We are going to be covering both 2D and 3D kits. The 3D kits appear in the match engine and in all the little cutscenes, including the main menu of the game here. You can see my Chelsea Let's Play Teams dressing room, all the Chelsea kits fully in 3D in the background. It's a nice little touch. And of course, for the 2D kits, you see them on all the different club profile screens around the world. This guide, of course, is one of many that I've done on the channel covering different Football Manager graphics. Check out the playlist down in the description if you want to get face packs, logo packs, more videos in the series coming as well soon. Let's run the intro and get into things, shall we? So when it comes to kit packs, you have your 2D and 3D kit packs. These will need to be downloaded separately. However, the install process is the exact same. We will cover doing each in this video. I'm here on the Sort It Out SI website. If this looks familiar, maybe you watch my face pack guide video. Although, for today's video, the install process is going to be a little bit simpler than that one. So over here on the website, you can see they've got three different styles of 2D kits and then the 3D kits in their own separate section. There are standard kits. SS kits and FC12 kits. You can pick the kits that you like the layout of the most. For this example though, we're going to install some standard kits. So let's click here. Just a heads up that in order to download the kits from this website, you are going to need to make an account. It's a free sign up. You don't need a premium account to do it. Once you're here on the FM standard kits page, you'll notice that there are the FM24, FM23 and FM22 kits. At the moment, there are only 638 files in the standard pack. That's because the game's just come out. Over the time in the next few weeks, months, more and more kits will be added all up to date for the current football seasons. As you can see from previous years, they tend to end up with 2000 plus kits in these packs. So if you have a premium account here on Sort It Out SI and you hit that download button, it will instantly download. If you are a free user and you've just made your account, all you need to do is scroll below the premium membership option. And here you can see partner download, download file from get files, and then click simply the download file button. And when you click download here, it will just download to your PC. Uh, I don't need to do this step. I've already downloaded it. If you wanted to download a different kit pack, such as the FC12 kit pack, sometimes they don't come as one big bundled pack, rather downloads by league. So over on FM Slovakia, if you like this style of kits, they have different leagues being updated constantly. When it comes to downloading these, say you want the Premier League click kits, you just click view. You have the Premier League kits here and the style of how they will look in game. And all you need to do is click either the Dropbox or Media Fire download download these files, they will be a .zip and follow the next few steps. Once I've shown you how to do the 3D kits. So in order to download 3D kits, we are going to come to the 3D kits page over on Sort It Out SI and you'll notice there are lots of different games. We want FM24's 3D kits and if we click here, you'll note that the 3D kits are done by division. Now, this is going to get a little bit messy when it comes to your kit pack folder and it's worth noting that different leagues are being added at different times. Currently, all the English leagues down to tier 6 are done as is La Liga. Um, when it comes to leagues, if a league is licensed in games such as the Bundesliga, the 3D kits already exist in game. So if you've ever managed in a league and noticed that your teams have more detailed kits, more than likely that was one of the kits licensed in game. For the sake of this video, we are going to download the English kits pack. Of course, we want the 3D Premier League kits. That's why I'm here. That's what I want. By clicking on this page, you can see we come to a forum thread dedicated to the Premier League kits. If you notice any issues with any of the kits within the pack, here is the place to report them and when it comes to downloading the kits you you click the green download button exact same process scroll below the premium user link and you can see here there is a get files link and a media file link we will just go to get files click here download and with that we will have the 3D kits downloaded. So hopefully at this point you have downloaded some kit packs of your choice. For us, we have the England levels 1 to 6 3D kits and also the Sort Out SI standard kits mega pack that we are going to be installing. I did also download the FC12 Premier League kits just to see if they downloaded. They do work. We're not going to use them though. Now, before we do anything with these files that we've downloaded, we're going to want to navigate to our Football Manager graphics folder. This can be found on a Windows PC at the location C, users, your Windows username. If your name is Jack and your Windows user is Jack, it will be the exact same as this. Otherwise, 
your name here, Documents Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2024. And within here, you're going to want to make a graphics folder if one doesn't already exist. If you followed some of my previous guides, you may already have a graphics folder that has your face pack or your logo pack installed, for example. For Mac users, I will have the written instructions for this location, as of course, it will be different on Mac. Now, before we move the files that we've downloaded into this location, I am just going to make a new folder here called Kits. Now, the reason I like to do this is simply that because if you're downloading lots of different kit packs, maybe by division, you're going to want to have them in a folder that's nice and organized away from all your other graphics. Helps to keep things simple, helps keep things organized. Otherwise, once you've downloaded 30 plus leagues, it gets a bit messy. So once you've made your kits folder, you are going to want to copy over your downloaded kits. Usually these will come in either a .zip or .rar format. If you're on newer versions of Windows, you shouldn't need this, but if you don't have a means to unzip these files, get WinRAR installed. There'll be a link with the written instructions down below in the description. So we're going to take these two files we've downloaded, copy them over and paste them into the kits folder we created. The last step that we need to do is unzip these files. You will be able to unzip these files separately into their own folders and this is basically going to unbundle our nicely bundled up kit packs into a nice readable format for Football Manager. Once that is done we can now delete the zipped up and .rar versions of our kit packs so that only the folders exist. Make sure they finish extracting first and if you just want to make sure that these have all downloaded okay you can go and look in here and see all the different kits from the mega pack. So once you have downloaded your kit packs and put them into that kits folder that we created in Football Manager Graphics, the final step is to load up Football Manager, go to preferences and within here, click this drop down and click clear cache and then click on this reload skin button. Both these steps are important. If you don't have a reload skin button, you're going to want to go to advanced, then on this drop down, go to interface and make sure the tick box reload skin when confirming changes in preferences is ticked. If that's not ticked and you don't have have the reload skin button, just make sure it's ticked. Once you've done those settings in preferences and reloaded the skin, you can load up a save game, start a new game, and within your football manager, you can see that we now have our lovely 2D kit pack working in game. So Premier League teams now have kits. Worth noting that at the moment, the mega pack is a work in progress. So for example, here, Crystal Palace's kit is missing. But besides that, the majority of the 2D kits, both home, away, and third kits where needed, are already done for, say, Premier League teams. And in order to verify that the 3D kits have worked, you can load into a Football Manager replay of a, a match you've already played. And of course, if you're really struggling to see, you could just go to the main menu and make sure the 3D kits are appearing for your team. Anyway, that is how to install 2D and 3D kits to your Football Manager game. I hope this video was useful for you. If it did help you out and this helps out other people as well, drop a like on it, helps the video get bumped up in the algorithm so people can find the good tutorials. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Football Manager videos coming your way soon. And besides that, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you soon. It's me, Jack, and I'm out.